Hey everyone, it's Chili Gong. Thanks for stopping by. Tomorrow is Pokemon Day, and it's going to be the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. So today I will be reacting to the new Pokemon Direct video to see what's in store for the Pokemon series in the future. I was at work all day today, so I was really, really, really looking forward to watching this. And with me, I have my Ditto Gengar, <laughs> who will be accompanying me. Let's get right into the video. So first things first, it is 20 minutes long. So we'll just show the best parts of the reaction where I can <laughs> to make, not make this video too, too long. 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. What can they be announcing? Twenty five years of non stop adventure. The montage. Nineteen ninety six. Yep. Yep. Blue yellow. It's gone through a lot of different iterations over the years. My parents didn't like me playing video games, so I actually didn't own a lot of the originals because I just didn't have access to the games. Gold and Silver. Such a good series. Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Pano Puzzle, I don't remember that. It's crazy how this is still going so strong. Oh, Mystery Dungeon. 2006. So, maybe a Diamond Pearl remake? That's what everyone's guessing. Heart Gold Soul Silver. Okay, so Heart Gold Soul Silver was when I finally started my first Pokemon game, despite having the training cards and the Pokemon games for like a whole decade beforehand. Black and white. I know a lot of people used to hate on black and white, but uh, like people have grown into it. <laughs> the jets are pretty random. X and Y for me was the resurgence of Pokemon, like a resurgence of it. That's when I really got back into Pokemon again. Like I was always into it, but then I like super got into it again. Oh, that's such a pretty drawing. Oh yeah. All the mobile games started coming out. Pokemon Go. That's when Pokemon, like Pokemon Go brought in all of these other people that would have just never played it. Oh, I love the Magic Heart game. I do have one of these shirts. I'll wear one next time. I love this film. Such a good film. I think it really captures the heart of Pokemon. I love Twilight Wings. Wow, 25 years. Amazing. Oh, food. I want Pokemon food. Wow. I wish I was at a Go Fest. Nice montage. You gotta honor this series for what it is, for sure. Hello everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Hello there. My name is Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. First, I like this I'd guy's like hair. The latest update on the new Pokemon Snap game. We've put yes, I want I can't wait for Pokemon Snap. Please have a look. I always wanted to play this. At like blockbusters. Welcome to the world of new Pokemon Snap. This is the Lentil Region. Lentil Region. Yeah. I saw the trailer for this. Through the jungle. I'm so excited. Across the desert. Just to explore. Even under the sea. To... And of course, you won't 
be alone. Professor Mirror, who's doing research in the Professor Mirror. And research rarely I wonder how if they're gonna put in like all of them. And there's Vaporeon. Let's try throwing it a fluff fruit. Oh, I remember the apples, yeah. Here's our chance. Here's a park at Ooh. Yes, I heard about the glowing the glowing ones. You'll also have Illumina orbs. Illumina. Yeah. If you use one of these, you can make any Pokemon glow. Wow. Any Pokemon can glow. Whoa! Those flames changed color. Uh, so you'll get special effects depending on what's happening. You'll be able to edit the photos you've taken. <laughs> Got a Photoshop. So yeah, they used to have these like arcade like machines in blockbusters. And you could print out it's time to go online. You could print out all the pictures of like like on those little stickers of the pictures that you took. Photo becomes popular, it might even be featured and get more attention. Oh wow, that's fun. That may inspire you to go back and take even more photos. Need that social media clout. Whoa! Is that the mythical Pokemon Celebi? Oh nice. So they have the mythics. They should have the legendaries. Nice. Yeah, so those arcade machines that they used to have at Blockbusters, you could play Pokemon Snap on them, and then you could take pictures and then print them out. And I always wanted to play them, but I, I like didn't, ha I, I couldn't use my allowance on it. <laughs> so I would just stare longingly at the machine. So now I can play it all I want. I'm definitely getting Pokemon Snap. <gasps> I'd like to present the latest ah. news about the Pokemon <laughs> video game series. Have I'm so excited. Uh, my, my Gengar is peeking out, not peeking out. Sinnoh remake? I think so. I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah. What everyone really wanted. Amazing. Experience the brilliance once more. Oh, so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, the sprites are cute. I wonder if it's going to be like uh, Let's Go. The style looks way different from Let's Go, though. Brilliant diamond. Shining pearl. <laughs> the names are I. Names are I. I'm just excited for Sinnoh Remake. For sure I'm gonna get that. But another story awaits. Enters a new era. This is a tale from a long, long time ago, when the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people, while in the mountains and seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. Love the art, watercolor. Oh, wow. It's like going into the past. Love the, love the design. Ooh, you can tumble. Oh my God. You can actually, like, throw it in the overworld. Aya. Whoa. Combat animation. Beautiful scenery. What are these starter packs? Gen 2, 5, and 6. Wow. 
Pokemon from the past. Arceus? Pokemon Legends. Early to- that's in a year. Looks good! Seems like an open world. I'm pleased to announce two new additions to the Pokemon video game series, both taking place in the Sinnoh region. First, I'd like to present the Pokemon- Sinnoh getting Legends some love. Shining. Next, allow me to introduce you to the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. Arceus, oh. Pokemon Legends Arceus I'm very excited for this. It does seem like more sandbox. Which people have been wishing for for so long. Thank you very much for watching. <gasps> Is that it? Oh. It is. <laughs> so that's my reaction to the new Pokemon Direct announcing a couple of things. I think the biggest things are obviously the new games. That's what everyone's looking forward to. So the Diamond Pearl remakes, as well as Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is taking place in the past of Sinnoh. Very interesting choice to do a different timeline, but in the same region. And then also very interesting choice to not make any new starters, but to pick starters that already exist. I think it was smart to pick a starters from a starter from Gen 2, 5, and 6, because those are ones that are kind of in between and haven't really gotten any sort of like those generations haven't really gotten any sort of big thing yet, or were a little just a little bit recent enough, but a little bit old enough to to warrant them being chosen. So so pretty interesting there. I'm definitely gonna be getting Pokemon Snap. I'm definitely going to be getting the Diamond Pearl remakes, and I'm really, really hopeful. I, I need to lower my expectations, but I am really hopeful that the sandbox kind of open world action RPG of Legends Arceus um, will be engaging, will be interesting, and really just a new fresh take on the whole Pokemon series uh, and formula. Pokemon has been a huge part of my childhood, and it was also a gateway into other sorts of uh, Japanese manga and anime like Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball. And you can clearly see the kind of cultural influence that it has had. I'm really hoping that Pokemon continues to succeed, and I think that they are in this current direction that they are taking it. Of course, we'll have to see when the final product is delivered and released, but here's to 25 years of Pokemon. Yay! I hope you enjoyed my reaction video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And feel free to leave a comment below with what you're most excited about after seeing the latest Pokemon Direct. Take care everyone and happy catching. Bye.